Sometimes I wake up tasting the margarita salt on my lips, y como un vicio, desde momento todo queda en ruina. I can't stay away from Mexican dive bars. There's something about their chaos that I can relate to that makes me happy. When I'm at one, I feel at home. The names alone are a glorious conga line of glamour mixed with sleaze. El Gato Negro, El Zorro, La Gala, Fuzzy Land, Tiberio's Dance Palace, La Pantera Rosa. They're dim and dense with cigarette smoke. The atmosphere pulsates with promise, hidden from the street by a stained curtain. It's always hard to find people willing to go to these places, maybe once on a drunken whim, if they're dragged inside. The sight of an armed security guard usually sobers them up immediately. The rabbit's feet hanging from the belts of the men playing pool. The gold teeth of the whores. It's voodoo. It's grigri. It's not West Los Angeles. My favorite place is Las Estrellas, buried in the labyrinth of cruising traffic in Hollywood, virtually unmarked on the boulevard itself. I only bring my favorite people there because it has a volatile, tenuous balance that I don't want to fuck with. It's a world unto itself. Inside, you could be anywhere. Tijuana, Buenos Aires, New York, Juarez, but in an underground, speakeasy, dangerous, sexually ambiguous netherworld. Las Estrellas, where the bathroom door is marked ladies, but the toilet seat is up and the bowl is foaming with fresh urine. An empty half pint of four roses floats in the sink and there's never any toilet paper. Las Estrellas, donde las bellas que besan el tablado pueden ser o no ser mujeres. Black light eyes rolling, sunk against the mirrored wall. We survey the scene from behind rhinestone cat girl glasses. Dos más coronas, por favor. The jukebox is blasting scratchy mariachi. The well rubbed for mica bar flanked by trashed, unmatched stools, grimy vinyl bulging with duct tape. Candles burn to the saints on a crepe papered shelf high above the beer cooler. Christmas lights twinkle. Disco balls flicker over your face. Mi exquisita compañera Ana Crimen. Mi linda compañera de juego. We hold hands, giggle drunkenly, share salty kisses con limón, and converse in pigeon Spanish one liners. Tu, tu eres las más loca, me asusta. We try to fend off the hot macho hombres who are inevitably drawn to us. From my baby girl, wear a charm, and your curved cheeked feline beauty. Showtime! Las Estrellas presenta Carmela, Linda, Maricela, Michelle, Barbarella, y Lorena. Lorena. She's my favorite. Flamenco proud posture. Flamenco arms, eyes flashing, nostrils flaring. Intense lips pursed in concentration. Regal beauty. Stocky and imperious. Graceful as a cat. I'm too shy to speak to her. For months and months I come and tip her silently, reverently. She offers me her cheek. Como te puedo amar cuando ni te conozco? No importa. Y Yasmin, la exótica, se esconde en un rincón. Ojos enormes, circulos que duermen y parecen amenazar maquillados. Labios de él, labios de ella, seductores. Hey. It's hard to make sense of any of this. While Linda gyrates on stage, lip syncing to Madonna doing Vogue, beautiful blonde Linda, bella rubia caliente, in her headset microphone and pink neon lycra bathing suit. The overly made up dumpy women, women who were born female, stuffed into shiny ruffled gowns. The drag queens prancing, proud and pathetic, brave and beyond the fringe living out the fantasies of 12-year-old Catholic schoolgirls raised in Guatemala, Cuba, Brazil, Panama, y Mexico. Oh, beautiful girl, muchacha chica. Sparkly gowns and high heels, teased hair and pretty, shiny jewelry. The smell of cheap aftershave and antiseptic, silver foil flickering novenas. Buena suerte, mi amiga. Cracked plaster and tinsel, Bikini girl beer posters curling from fake wood paneling. 
tin ashtrays and artificial flowers, painstakingly, carefully. You folded a crisp dollar bill up into a little fan and handed it respectfully with a flourish to La Rea, Lorena. Yo te amo con todo desmi corazón, because you understand.